Inspired by Chinese internet behemoths Alibaba and Tencent, recently listed food tech startup Zomato has chalked out an ambitious plan to invest $1 billion over the next two years in other startups. There are reports that the company may invest $500 million in growers as it sees opportunity in quick commerce. Zomato is well positioned from a capital perspective too after raising $1.2 billion in its IPO in July this year. This it hopes will help the company emerge as a major force in the hyperlocal e-commerce ecosystem. Over the past 6 months, Zomato has committed 275 million dollars across four startups. In August, it invested 100 million dollars in online grocery store Grofers and a month later, it shut down its own pilot grocery delivery service. The company cited gaps in order fulfillment leading to poor customer experience. Zomato believes that its investment in Grofers will deliver better outcomes to its shareholders. than its in-house efforts it is also investing 75 million dollars in logistics from shiprocket 50 million dollars in savings and neighborhood discovery app magic pen zomato is also divesting its recently acquired sports platform fitso to cure fit healthcare for 50 million dollars and also investing an additional 50 million dollars in the fitness and wellbeing startup in the process grofers and cure fit have turned unicorns with zomato's funding each one of these deals is being seen as strategic by zomato It has made its intentions clear. Zomato is not looking to be a financial investor who sits on the sidelines. The company is ready to infuse additional capital into these businesses as they scale and consolidate its stake, leading to a potential merger in the future. What they are doing is something very like it's a normal strategy for any large company. Okay. So they are a 15 billion dollar or some market cap company, right? So for them to find next avenue of growth, obviously there will be business they'll want to build on their own, but there will be business they want to acquire also. Even an acquisition, there is a full acquisition and there is a partial acquisition. Full acquisition generally people do, which is more core and more strategic to them. Partial is when you want to partner together and keep on growing together. So that's what I see them doing. Another aspect people do is pure investment. If you look at Baidu or Alibaba or Tencent in China, each one of them have more than hundred companies in which they have invested, and those companies have gone public. So there was never an intent to buy them out fully. The investments oh, yeah. Chinese companies did were in 2012, 13 also. So this is not today that they are doing it. They have been doing that for now eight, ten years. So I would argue so, these guys are also doing it at the right time. If you don't have a play today, you will not have a play tomorrow. And they may not ever acquire these companies. Who knows? They may stay 15 percent ownership and let those companies go public. Meituan has investments from some of the large strategics, but they never acquired Meituan. It went public on its own. These companies have gone and prospered and become independent public companies. In the worst case scenario of an acquisition not panning out, Zomato is still expecting windfall gains from its investments. Laying out its strategy, the company said it is only investing in those startups that have the ability to become market leaders in their category. This way, it is looking to add multiple large core businesses to its mainstay of food delivery. Zomato has hinted that a large chunk of its future investments will go into quick commerce. which refers to delivery of products in under 30 minutes the competition is hotting up in this space with grofers swiggy dunzo and zipto vying for market share such diversification does not mean that zomato is ignoring its core business of domestic food delivery it had 15.5 million monthly transacting users at the end of september and it feels that there is an opportunity to grow the food delivery market by at least 10 times in the next few years To sharpen its focus in this area, it has also shut down its nutraceutical business that sold health and fitness products, ended its grocery delivery program, and pulled out of all international markets. After a hiatus of two years, Zomato is launching food delivery in new cities again and is heavily investing in smaller and emerging cities to enable market creation. Since Zomato's focus is purely on the long term, we must wait for a few years to see how its strategy of diversification through investments will play out. For now, Zomato is adamant that it will not let its IPO morph it into a QSQT business, that is, quarter say quarter tuck or from quarter to quarter. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views, and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn.